All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which are indeed the elders of Israel, which is soon to be revealed. All right, the men of the Most High. And honor to all you fellow laborers that are kicking his word in truth and in sincerity. All right, laboring to enter into the rest, which is the kingdom of heaven. All right, so I got the brother. Manatazak. Yes, I got the brother Manatazak here with me. Wanted to go into a lesson on vengeance and how we were talking and pretty much that, that spirit of revenge and vengeance, that's the spirit of Esau. You know, so, you know, us as brothers that are walking in the faith, we're not supposed to have that, have that spirit. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna get right into it. This is, uh, it, it meant meaning that spirit of us avenging ourselves. All right. Revenging ourselves because that's the spirit. That's what, that's the spirit that Esau was in. All right. Esau felt wrong. Instead of Esau being spiritual about it, what did he want to do? He wanted to kill us, man. All right. Uh, Genesis 27 and 41. This is Genesis 27 and 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Right. And that's why we've been having a war with Esau ever since the womb, man. Well, really, it goes back to the womb. Yet in Esau's mind, he's mad. He hates us because of what? The blessing. All right. The blessing wherewith he blessed us. And that went back to what? The birthright. All right. Which... We didn't steal it, all right. You could you could say we finessed them, all right. You know, Jake, Jake supplanted. That's what. That's why you know we're called uh, we're called Jacob, Yaakov, which means supplanter. Yeah, got the got the brother Kanak just came in. You know, so long, so long. Yeah, so yeah, so his whole thing was, look, I'm gonna just I'm gonna kill Jacob, man. All right. Oh, he in in Esau's mind, oh, uh, we wronged him from the birthright. He didn't ask. He didn't ask uh, the, the Most High to plead his cause. Uh, hey, please, Yahweh, uh, Shai, Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, avenge this, uh, avenge this man. He did me wrongfully. He said, "Now nah, I'm gonna kill him." You know, and that's the same thing with Cain. Go to Genesis the fourth chapter, unless you had a precept. Uh, no, nah, I didn't jump to Genesis four. Yeah, go to Genesis the fourth chapter. Genesis four. Uh... Go to. Uh... Eight. Yeah, okay. it's, uh, Genesis. Actually, you know what? Start at the top. Genesis 4 and 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Yep. And she, and she again bare his, his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was the tiller of the ground. Right. Two different man, two manner of people. All right. It's the same, it's the same story coming back. All right, because uh, just like Esau was the eldest, uh, was the oldest, Cain was the oldest in this story as well. All right, showing you that there's what reincarnation. All right, if you're spiritual, you can see that this is the same. These are the same spirits coming back. All right, us and Esau, and uh, and us and Cain, man. Hey, because we're the descendants of uh, of Abel, which means uh, pretty much breath or uh, breath or uh, transitory. You know. You gonna say something? About I was gonna say, and that's that's been the fight since the very beginning of uh, wickedness versus righteousness. You know? Right. That's how the Most High set it up. You know. Right. This is the personification of good and evil. Us yeah. against Esau. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. So so Abel was a keeper of sheep. All right. And but Cain was a tiller of the ground. All right. Go ahead. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and an offering unto the Lord, and Abel. He also brought of the uh, of the fatlings of his flock and of the fat thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. Yep. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. Right. He was pissed off, man. Just like Esau is pissed off. Why? Because we got accepted and he got rejected. Yeah. You know that's what it comes down to, man. Like we were talking about yesterday, the hate that and because that spirit. It's of Cain and Esau is even amongst our people, man. Which they're uh, known as what? The two-thirds, man. And the chief of the two-thirds are you you reprobates that are coming against us, man. And you're mad because you've been rejected. Like we're talking about Big Huey Draco. He's been rejected since he came, since his spirit was uh, has been on the earth, man. Well, really, he's, he's re rejected since the spirit world, man. Hey, because Lord, hey, Lord uh, declares things, declares the end from the beginning, right? You know? All set up in the spirit for him to play his role. 
scriptures right. say, man's goings of the Lord, how can a man that understand his own way? Right. It, it was set up in the spirit for him to play that role, you know? Yep. Just like it was set up in the spirit for Esau to play his role. He was rejected by the Most High even from the beginning. That's why when Cain, uh, when he when he went to go sacrifice, he sacrificed the fruits because the, the Lord didn't give him that understanding, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because the Lord, the Lord had it so that he was from birth a reprobate, just like Esau. Like it says, we were talking yeah. before, the wicked are estranged from the womb. Yeah. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So they're born with a, a, a reprobate spirit, man. Yeah. That's why they can't, they can't fathom, they can't understand what we're doing. You know, they can't, they can't uh, understand uh, righteousness. Hey, uh, I got a precept real quick. Second um, Ezra three and sixteen, and unto him thou gavest Isaac. And unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose choose him to thee, and put by Esau. And so Jacob became a great multitude. You know, and that's that's pretty much it. He put by Esau. All right, all right. He chose us, and because and because we were chosen, all right. Esau had a problem, and he wanted to do what? Seek vengeance, just like Cain. Uh, let's go back to that. Unless you had a precept. Not that. Back to Genesis. No, no, no. But let's go back to the predecessors of that. Okay. Let's go back to Genesis, the fourth chapter. All right. Okay, Genesis four and um, it says. Go on to seven. Seven. Genesis four and seven. If thou dost well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not, will sin lie at the door? And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Yeah, that's right. So. Esau today, the descendant of Cain, is still ruled by what? Sin. That's why this devil, he doesn't do anything righteous. Which is how you know there's a difference between us and Esau because our people, like we were talking about yesterday, our people will do wickedness and then try to what? Repent. Yeah, repent. You know, because Jake knows, Jake knows right from wrong, all right? This devil really doesn't know, this This devil's really just the devil. Yeah, going back to Habakkuk, the second chapter, when it says the spirit is not upright in him. Right. Jake, Jake got a conscience. It would mean... Jake is born, in, like the scriptures say, my people, I'm not quoting it verbatim, have become more wicked than the wicked. Right, you know? right. They, Jake get into wickedness because you're born as you're surrounded by it. But when Jake becomes aware, okay, you ain't supposed to be doing that, it's a conscious thing, you know? Right, right. right like, they, you, they feel bad, bad. But Esau, when he dives into his wickedness, he just dives right in, you know? He yeah. doesn't feel any type of way, you know? Yeah. That's why, because that's another reason why the Esau is going to catch pure hell in the kingdom. Yeah. Because how can a vessel that was created to be wicked um, exist in the world uh, based righteousness. on righteousness. So yeah. we don't constantly be on your ass in the kingdom. Of Esau, you know? yeah, that's right. Yeah, the vexation that we feel every day. Yeah. Hey, because the scriptures talk about godly sorrow, right? Okay. And Lord's will, we'll do another lesson on that. We we have godly sorrow, all right? He's going to have, he's going to have like a worldly sorrow, like a wicked sorrow, because he, he's not going to be able to, he can't fulfill, his to, be, lust. to fulfill his lust of the flesh, his wicked lust. But keep going on that. Yeah, it says, uh, verse 8, and Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel and his brother and slew him. Right, and he and he slew him. He killed him. Why? Because he was taking vengeance for when the Most High blessed Abel and rejected him, man. And so he took vengeance upon who? His brother. Same thing Esau is doing to us today. And the scriptures tell you that vengeance is the Lord's, all right? Uh, go to Romans, the 12th chapter. Hey, because that same spirit is uh is within Israel, man. Which that that spirit of of wanting to take your brother out, all right, instead of letting the Lord deal with it, that's the spirit of Cain and that's the spirit of Esau. All right, you can't operate like that. Uh, Romans twelve and nineteen. Yeah, this is Romans twelve and nineteen. Uh, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give peace unto wrath. Right, give place. Yes, yeah, lot. Give place unto wrath. Yep. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, say the Lord. Right, the Lord is going to repay, not not you. All right, and a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to get that. I think it's Deuteronomy. What's is there a precept in there in Romans the twelfth chapter? It should take you to somewhere. What's telling me? Uh, let's see. Yeah, Deuteronomy thirty-two. Get Deuteronomy thirty-two and thirty-five. And can I have you got any precepts? You just let me know. Yeah, Deuteronomy thirty-two and thirty-five. It says, to me belong vengeance and recompense. Ooh, this is heavy. Go ahead. Their foot shall slide in due time. Their foot shall slide in due time. You know, that's why you can't be presumptuous and force, scriptures talk about forcing the course of the river. All right, if it's the Lord's vengeance to, um, 
to, to recompense somebody, the Lord will have that happen in due time, man. And can, I, can you get Zephaniah 3 and 8? Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, uh, I started at the top. Yeah, to, yeah. Me, to, to me belong vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. Right, their foot shall slide in due time. That, that's talking about what? Them slipping. So when you slip, you fall, all right, and you're done, man. For the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. Right, it make haste. Because you got to remember that the, the the concept of time is different uh, to uh, uh, in our in our carnal minds and um, and in Yahweh's mind, man. All right, it's different. It's different realms. All right, because we're in this we're in this flesh, or I should say in this flesh, because you know we have a spiritual mind as much as we can. You know, yet we're still in this flesh, so we're subject to we're subject to these these thoughts, these vain thoughts. Where you're like, oh man, this is taking too long. Why ain't the Lord doing this? How's the Lord letting this letting this slip? Hey man, He's gonna do it in due time, man. And and that the things that it's gonna come come upon them, they're gonna make haste. He's gonna make a speed written to all this wickedness because uh, a day to him is a thousand years in our eyes. You got that? Got you, oh, well, there you go. Second uh, Peter three and eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Right. Oh, keep going. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. And that's how you know that he's not slack concerning his promise, because we read in Deuteronomy 32nd chapter that he's gonna he's gonna repay, all right, in due time. And it's not gonna and it's gonna and it's gonna haste. It's not gonna tarry pretty much, man. I will tell you that in Habakkuk the second chapter. But you got something let, let him get this in it. There's Habakkuk two and three. Oh that's spirit. <laughs> <laughs> There you for go. The vision, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. There you go. It's beautiful. But that the end it shall speak and not lie. There you go. go Though ahead. it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. That, bam. That's it. That's it. That's plain, man. Hey, because it doesn't tarry because in, 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 in the most high's mind, he makes swift judgment. And really, that's what it is. It is swift judgment. It's just in our mind, us being in the flesh, it's taking too long. You know? And what happens is guys say, all right, you know, the Lord ain't. The Lord ain't revenged me yet, recompenses this demon yet. I'm going I'm to take it upon myself to do so. And then in you doing that, you're in error, all right? You, you've now, you've now uh, put upon yourself the spirit of Cain, the spirit of Esau. You got something else? Yeah, I got something. This is Go Zephaniah on. 3 and 5. The Lord is, a, the Lord is, in, is in the man. midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Yep. Every morning does he bring his judgment to light, to light. He fell of not. He fell of not. Meaning the Lord always is recompensing. That's why, hey, like Cameron, it was a beautiful video that the brother of Chicago did. And uh, he was talking about, uh, hey, you know, whatever our fate is, hey, niggas die every day, B. Yeah, you know? Day. <laughs> like that Cameron yeah. say, niggas die every day, B. But that's true. All right? Because the Lord be taking people out and be like, damn, man, like, this is a fucked up world. Why is this happening? It's because it's wicked people that are getting a judgment, man. Go ahead. But the unjust knoweth no shame. The unjust knoweth no shame, meaning if you're unjust, you're going to see that, and you're not going to consider that that's judgment. Because the scriptures tell you that evil men understand not judgment. And so you're not going to feel shame for that. You're not going to feel shame or bash for your own sins. And you're going to continue in your wickedness until you're that nigga that gets killed the next morning. You know? Uh, since you're there, go to verse 8. <clears throat> verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. Right, right. And who's the prey? You so-called white people, man. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdom. Is he not now doing that? Go ahead. To pour, to pour upon them my indignation. Which is righteous anger. Go ahead. Even all my fierce anger. Because that just verifies that that's what it's talking about. It says, even all my fierce anger. Go ahead. For all the herbs shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Yeah, World War Three. Because all these... A lot of these countries, I should say, they're going to get hit with missiles. The difference with America is that it's never going to be inhabited again. But you're going to have nuclear war in a lot of places, man. A lot of places are going to get hit, but they're just going to be rebuilt. Like, our, our land is going to be uh, hit with missiles, but then the Lord is going to allow it to be rebuilt. It's just going to be used as a cleansing agent, all right, because it's being defiled right now by the so-called Jews, all right, who are known biblically as Amalekites, all right? You got something? I'll, I'll just continue on uh, Peter's. Okay, yep. Yeah. You, you have something else? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. He said, the Lord, back in uh, 2 Peter 3 and 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, 
not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right, and they're all talking about Israel, you know? Yet, knowing that only the elect is going to come back, all right? Because I tell you that in Psalms 80, 80, 81st chapter, that the haters of the Lord, they should have submitted themselves, you know? I would have gathered them, you know? But, but hey, this is two-thirds, they don't, they don't want to get with it. Pretty much, they're sick. And we're telling them, we, hey, we, hey, look, we got the... We got the everlasting cure, the everlasting vaccination, and they don't want it. So then, what do you do? You just say, "All right, you know what? You're gonna die." So really, I don't, I don't see how you scoff and scoff. I don't know how you could be mad at us, man. Right? We got the, the the Lord got the cure right here in the scriptures. You don't want it. You want to die. You want to die in ER, man. So fuck you. You know? Yeah, like we were going through yesterday, Hosea four and six, because uh, because Jake two thirds have rejected knowledge. The Lord said He's gonna reject you. you yeah. So that's the reason why you got, you know, a lot of the, the two thirds are not going to make it, you know, because mm -hmm. the brother said earlier, Jake really knows what's right from wrong. You know, he chooses, he chooses to do something different. Right. Which makes him a rebellious people, you know. And it is a choice. I mean, ultimately, man's going through the Lord, right? Yet it's set before you good and bad and you theoretically have a choice. So then that's why the Lord is justified in judging your ass, man, because you see it. Okay, I can go right, I can go left, and you go left, man. So then you you caught out there, man. You you had a choice, man. You had an option. The option was set before you, you know. Which is beautiful. All right, let's get these last couple of precepts. You got a precept? Did you have some? Nah, that, was, that, was that was it. All right, can you get me um, Psalms the ninety fourth chapter? Just the first. Uh, I mean, the whole the whole chapter is beautiful. Let's just uh, let's just go go to the top. Okay. This is uh, Psalms 94 and 1. O Lord, power, to whom vengeance belongeth. To whom vengeance belongeth, go ahead. O Most High, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. See, so this is a spiritual man. All right, he knows that the vengeance belongeth unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. He says, what? Show thyself. He doesn't go and pick up arms, mm -hmm. all right, or go online and just start cursing people out, you know, being presumptuous. Hey, he asked the Heavenly Father, he petitions the Heavenly Father. Like we were talking about in the car, you got our people that protested and pretty much they be appealing to the so-called white man. Our people beg everybody for uh, justice except for the only entities that can grant it, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. And he granted all judgment unto his son. All right, so you're really supposed to be getting at Yahweh Shai to, to get at his father to, to come and deliver us, man. As it is written in Isaiah, the 62nd chapter, give him no rest. All right? Until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. Not not yourself, not you forcing the course, man. Not you uh, being vengeful. You got some, brother? Yeah, uh, Ezekiel twenty five, um, eighteen twenty five. Yep. Yeah, it says, uh, "Yet ye say, the way of the Lord is not equal. Here now, O house of Israel, is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? When a righteous man turneth away from his uh, righteousness and committeth iniquity, and dieth in him, them." For his iniquity that he has done shall he die. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he has committed and does that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul. Right. Because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions that he has committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Right, and that's the opposite of what we read in Zephaniah, the third chapter, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Right, so this is somebody that's shameful, and they understand that, and they turn back so that they can live. And that's what we're in right now. All right, now, read what the brother read before. Guys like Tracy T, uh, well, Big Huey Rossi, he was never even in there. But Tizzy, all right, all right, uh, Nigerius Crispus, all right, all, and all you other guys who will fall out of the various camps, man. You're going to die now, man. It doesn't matter that you, were doing, uh, that you were doing righteousness at one point. All of the works that you once did, they're no more remembered, man. All right, you could have bought you could have bought brothers a house, a damn mansion, man. You could have found them a virgin. You man, it is the, the best, most righteous things in your mind that you think. Nobody cares no more. Why? Because it's not it's not recorded up in the heavens, man. <laughs> so it's not going to be recorded down here, man. It's as if it's as if you never did it, man. It never happened. It never happened. Hey, just like Lord's ruler of the elect, it's, it's as if our sins they never happened, mm -hmm. you know, because we get pardoned from it. So when you get a pardon, it's as if it never even existed, man. Yeah, like, like when you get an expunge, yeah, yeah. when you get an expungement, it's, it's as if happened. it never is that is as if it never happened. No matter if you went to jail, mm -hmm. all right, you had to you had to get lawyers and you had to be in there for a year and a half. It's as if it never happened, man. Which will make you what? 
perfect. Do yeah. yeah. you, you have some more on it? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it says uh, verse 29. Yeah, you say, uh, yet say of the house of Israel that the way of the Lord is not equal with the house of Israel. Are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways. Said the Lord power, repent and turn yourselves from all ye transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make a new heart and a new spirit. For ye will die, O house of Israel. Uh, read, read that one more time. Cast away from, from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed. And make you a new heart and a new spirit, for ye, for for why will ye die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, said the Lord Power. Right. Wherefore turn yourselves and live. Right. Not yeah. willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, man. So pretty much, you know, our people, you put the most high in a position, a predicament where he pretty much has to kill you. You know, uh, you, you pretty much you leave him no choice. You know. All right, because he has compassion on you. He has us go out there and tell you where you're going off, pertaining to Isaiah, the 58 chapter. And then you scoff and scorn. So then there's nothing else he can do but kill you, man. Yeah, which proves that, uh, see, the Lord, he's talking to Israel, which means Israel can actually turn back and, and do righteousness. Right. They just choose not to do righteousness, you know? Right. <clears throat> yeah, because really, and then ultimately, they're programmed to do iniquity. Yeah, they're programmed to do iniquity. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're programmed to do iniquity. At the same time, the Most High sets and forth. He puts his prophets out there to show you that you're going off, and you turn, and you turn your heart, you harden your hearts. Yeah. So now the Lord has justification to destroy you. Yeah, because you know? you've, you've seen both ways, and you choose the left. You've seen right and left, and you can and you continue to go left. Yeah. Brother Kwana Waf just showed up. Yeah, what when, when the scripture says are not my ways uh, equal, because Jake he tries to take, uh, he tries to. Uh, Push his judgment before the Most High. Uh, right. Push his judgment, you know, because you feel oh, the Lord, he's not fair, you know. Yeah. This, this person did me wrong in my heart. I feel the, the person did me wrong. The Lord didn't cast judgment on him. Right. So now I'm going to take it upon myself, you know, because you know what? The Lord, he should have did it. Right. You know, so that means you're not waiting upon the Lord. Yeah. And you're not taking into account the uh, the, the concept of pretty much the, the root of what, why we're in here, which is repentance. Hey, because somebody could have did something uh, to you, but the Lord don't recompense him because he wants to grant, grant, grant that man uh, a remission of sins. Grant that man repentance. You know? And a quick three Come on. Uh, Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, Go, tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes Least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and convert and be healed. Hey, that's heavy. That's heavy, man. Hey, because hey, because if uh, Jake actually turned back, the Lord would would have to grant them repentance. So he put it in. He put an actual angel. He has an actual angel blinding our people so that they won't turn back. So then he can fulfill his prophecy in Zechariah the thirteenth chapter of them being destroyed. So it's all spiritual. It says, "Then said I." Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitation, and the house without men, the houses without men be laid, and the land, and, yeah, and the land be utterly dis uh, desolate. Yeah, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without men, and the land be utterly desolate. Meaning, until Jake is completely destroyed in America. All right, that's when Jake's going to wake up, which is going to be when in the kingdom. What that proves that's reincarnation. Yeah, because. Because how else? How else would they? Uh, how else would they uh, get it? You know, if everybody's destroyed, so obviously they're not going to get it in this life. Because it says until it said it right here, until uh, until the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate, meaning nobody's there. Yep. So when is Jake going to stop being blinded? Because he said, Lord, how long are they going to be blinded when they come back? Yeah. See, I said, see, see, you got <laughs> niggas talking about there ain't no reincarnation. Well, how do you explain that? Wouldn't it be the what? what wouldn't he say? Well, look, they're going to be blinded forever until they die. No, nah, he said, "Not good." I was going to say that scripture that say the same. Let's know it after death by pain. Oh, you got, got, oh man, there you go. Uh, if Jake gonna get it one way or another, either they get it. Well, ultimately, like we read in um, the sixth chapter of Isaiah, ultimately is set up in the spirit because the only people that are going to get it are the one third and the elect. 
Yep. The oath is set up in the spirit that two thirds not be blinded to fulfill the Lord's prophecy. You know, precept two. Come. Uh, this is Second Ezra nine. I started six. Yep. Uh, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby he hath believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. Mm -hmm. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Mm. Predestination. Go ahead. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when yet as yet a place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it. The oh, they understood it not. Why? Because there's an angel that's blocking them from understanding. All right? And they're receiving those benefits, so they're comfortable in the society. Go ahead. And when as yet place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. That's when they, after death by pain. And when are they going to know it? When they come back in the kingdom, yep. man. That's when they're going to know that that place of repentance was open unto them and they despise it. They look down upon it. That, go, that goes with uh, Daniel the 12th chapter. I was just about to get that. There you go. There you go. Everlasting content. Yep. Jeez. Yeah, but the spirit isn't here. The spirit of Yahweh Shai isn't here, man. You know? This is a man. This is a movie, and we're just parts here, man. You know, this is beautifully directed. You know, go ahead. Daniel twelve and one, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And that, and this Michael is talking about the archangel Michael. Michael is not talking about Yahweh Shai. All right, because the scriptures there's there's references to Yahweh Shai in Second Ezra. All right, so if this was actually talking about Yahweh Shai, it would say it just like it, in First Him in Second Ezra. I believe it's the seventh chapter. It says, for my son, Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed. All right? This is actually talking about the archangel. Go ahead. As it talks about Michael in uh, Revelation, the 12th chapter. Right, right. So it's the same instance. Exactly. Daniel seen the, uh, the same thing John seen. Precept upon precept, you know? Go ahead. Uh, and there shall be a time of trouble right. such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. Right, Jacob's trouble. Go ahead. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Yep. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And those, 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 those are the ones that are going to have to learn after death by pain. Like Nigeria's Crispus. Yeah. He's going to have to learn after death by pain, man. He's, hey. he's going through some of that pain right now, man. Yeah. And we got to uh, we gotta wrap up, though. Okay. This, is a, this is about almost full. Okay, kind of, yeah, yeah the is, precept. Uh, Isaiah 16, 21. Uh, Thy people also shall all... Beautiful. Thy people also shall be all righteous. There you go. There you go. Because in the kingdom, we're not going to go off anymore. All right? And because those the niggas that are going off and being demons, they've always been demons. These niggas have just been generational demons, man. So that's why that's how we know that Isaiah the 6th chapter, that, that correlates with Isaiah the 60th chapter. Because after they, they, they're, uh, they're destroyed and the cities, America is left without inhabitant, they're going to come back. And then our people are going to be all righteous, man. After they learn after death by pain. Go ahead. They shall inherit the land forever. Right. Because we're never going to go off again because we're going to get a new spirit and a new heart. Go ahead. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. That I may be glorified. That's a heavy point. Because we're we're seeking to get out of here that we may serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We're not seeking to get out of here so we can go we can go to an island and live it up. And, I mean, the kingdom, that's beautiful and everything, but really... What did Moses say? Let my people go that they may go and serve me, man. Yep. Hey, because really, you can't properly serve Yahweh Shai here. Yahweh Yahweh Shai here, man. Are you in his flesh? You gotta. You can't execute judgment. You can't, man. We see fucking sodomites, just punk ass niggas all the time. Rebellious, rebellious sons, sluts, sodomites of Israel. We can't do anything, man. All right. We can't sacrifice. We can't sacrifice. Uh, we can't. We can't uh sacrifice a lamb for the Passat. We can't go up to Jerusalem. We, let, let us try to go up to Jerusalem, man. They'll arrest Let's, you if you go there and try to uh, worship the Heavenly Father. You try to uh, institute these laws. You try to have a ceremony. Them rats out there are going to put you in jail, man. The IDF going to beat your ass. And you're going to end up in the uh, jail out there, man. Yeah, man. So you really, you can't you can't be righteous here. You could try, you know, but you really can't be, you can't be righteous here. 
All right, the, uh, the women that we have, we're technically committing adultery. Some of these chicks, man, they they're banging four or five dudes at a time, man. This is this is, hey, this is the reality of the situation, man. Like the Apostle Hart says, see, that's why you guys you don't like you don't like watching us. Hey, because let's start with the Apostle and Elders. We put it in a, a somber perspective, man. You can't take pleasure in anything here. Save doing the work of the Heavenly Father and His Son, you know? Hey, go ahead and read the next verse. Two, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Hey, because this is a cut on uh, that guy Malak Shar. He said he's just going to have one woman in the kingdom. Man, you go, man, how, how do you explain this? You ain't going to do your own will in the kingdom. Yeah, who the fuck is you? Well, he's going to program you to have more than one woman, man. Yeah. See, just Jake, Jake being rebellious, man. Yeah, you gonna have Jake don't want to serve the heavenly Father here. Jake don't want to have uh, more than one woman in the kingdom. You gonna serve your <laughs> by Shimei in the kingdom, yeah, yeah. and you gonna have more than one woman, and you gonna have a bunch of kids. You got dudes. Some dudes don't want kids. Oh, you know, I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna just have my wife and my pop. No, nigga, you gonna get them pregnant. Yeah. All right. The Mosai is gonna put it in your mind to have a bunch of children, man. The Mosai said, "Be fruitful and multiply." You know. Yep. That was a commandment. Yeah, so commandment. we gonna we gonna follow all the commandments, man, including that one. Yeah. What Jake don't want children, man. Yeah, because we gotta repopulate the earth with all of these righteous spirits, man. You know, because there's still gonna be wickedness on the earth. It's just not gonna be it, it it's means, not gonna flourish. But it's not gonna flourish exactly. All right, when it tries to rise up, it's gonna be put down, man. You know, because in other nations they can't be righteous. All right. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, like you said, the rulership is gonna be righteous. All right, and any any attempt at wickedness is gonna be put down brutally. <laughs> Just like in this society, any attempt at righteousness is put down. Yeah, except for us. Yep. You can't, you can't, you can't stop us, baby. <laughs> like, go ahead, bro. Yeah, verse twenty-two. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in, in, uh, it in its time. Yeah, the Lord Himself is going to hasten it. So you have nothing to say about that. Yeah. All right, one last precept. Oh yeah, this. Uh... Psalms 37 and uh, 7, going back to when we started off. Yep. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Right. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way. Ooh, yep. That's, because, yep. Oh, go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Because of the man who bring of wicked devices to pass. Right. Keep going. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Yeah. And it says, fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way. Then you read the, uh, the first verse. Uh, fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're going to be destroyed. So you shouldn't, and fret means to worry. So don't worry about these demons that are prospering in this life, because this is their portion, man. This is, this is Esau's kingdom. And really, he's not even prospering in his own kingdom, man. Spirit has it. We're, we're on the right path. And we're doing better than Esau, man. Yeah, Esau, he's on his last leg, so to speak. <laughs> Literally. Like I said, like I, was telling, uh, I was talking to a brother, uh, I was in the gym, and they had this trainer, this old-ass Edomite, and he was actually on a cane trying to train somebody, man. Damn. So that, that was indicative yeah. of the so-called white man in 2017. He's on his last leg, but he's still trying to work. He's still trying to, no, just still give it up. To keep the rules shit. Yep. You're done, man. You're out yeah, you, of here. Yeah, you're done, man. Just but give up. Dope. You got some more? Oh, cease, uh, cease uh, read eight from the top again. It says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Yeah, and that's what happens. All right, you see uh, the wicked and their prosperity, and you get seduced by that, man. That's what happened to these niggas that fell out, man. That's that's exactly what happened. Yep. All right, they was catching all this hell. They, in their mind, the prophecy ain't coming fast enough, so I'm going to be wicked too. So now you're back with these people where you belong. All right, like the brother Gal was saying. You got some more? Yeah, a little bit more. Come it on. says, for evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. That, hey, that's it, man. That's it. All right. Well, I had this one, but nah, let's, let's end on that. Let's end on that. That was beautiful. And with that, hopefully it was edifying. All right. Death to America. Death to you, Nigeria's Crispus. All right. Beta, you through. Tracy T. All right. All workers of iniquity. And Kwan Bakiyar Yasharala, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.